Bum 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 bum. For now, for now, for now. Anyway, yes. This is the As You Undecided podcast with your mom, partners, and hosts, Mike and Sophie. And this is a sort of an, an election special. We'll do a much bigger one when the time comes. Yes. For us to vote. Yes. But basically, we're doing this now to remind you guys to vote. To no, not necessarily to vote. To register, register to vote. Yes. Do we still have time to register to vote when we release this? Yes. Oh, good. Yes. Because you get the first form Yes. just to say that your details are correct. That's usually the first barrier. Right. Right? I got that ages ago. Yeah, 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 it was ages ago. Second barrier is when you get your card yep. in the mail. Yes. Right? Uh, and what it is, it has your details and your... On the electoral roll, it'll say your page number and what number you are on that page. Oh, cool. I'll be very excited to get that card. Have you been getting that card for ages now? Well, this is my fourth election oh, yes. that I'm able to vote on. Yeah, awesome. And I have voted for different parties every time. We'll not ask you which ones. Um, just to keep things neutral, we're not going to talk about the parties themselves. Correct. We're just going to talk about the election in general. Okay. So, for example, um, how the how the parties do the billboards, how the parties do the colours, and the orange guy. The orange the, guy. Slender Man's cousin. Yes. Election Man. Yes. <laughs> Gumpy's brother. Yes. <laughs> so who's Gumpy? So is he like Green Man? Yeah, he's Green Slendy? Yes. He's Green Slendy. Um, okay. <laughs> so first up, you, you know election time is coming around when you see those billboards everywhere of, you know, like this um, three meter squared billboard. Um, one, And this guy got a person's face smiling really creepily at you and they say like a uh, vote party party vote party or something rather yes and yet yes you will n- not see them around Auckland Central no you can't because the price of advertising would skyrocket you'll see them in one or two billboards in Auckland Central but they'll be for the bigger parties right because yeah. only they can afford to you know or uh, in your New Zealand Herald yeah but if you live in the suburbs you're just going to see the same billboard over and over and over again. I mean, honestly, they all just look sort of the same. Just colour of the party. Person. Vote. Yes. And it's just like, we're not going to... It's just... Why? It's just so boring after a while. Politics is boring. I know. But it doesn't say... But, but, but they don't say why we should vote for them. Or... No, well, it, it's, it's supposed to get your foot in the door. Okay. It's saying that... We it, exist. Yeah, yeah, we exist. And if you want to, the internet is there. I see. Essentially. So, and because of social media having a bigger presence, yeah, you are constantly going to see it. Either mm. if, it's on the, if it's on social media, if it's on the news... If they're running TV advertising, radio advertising. If they did something scandalous. Okay, okay, okay. Don't worry, we're not going to talk about Todd Barclay. No, we're not talking about anyone. (laughs) We're not talking about anyone. So, it's just there to get exposure. Very basic exposure. Yes. But, (laughs) this is hilarious. On Dominion Road... And at this one particular park that's right opposite KFC, you see a sea of billboards. Like, you see five or six billboards just stacked up right next to each other. <laughs> well, 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 the, well, the reason why that is... Yeah. Is it's, it's public property. Yeah. That's the only reason why. It's public property. So you can put billboards anywhere on a public site. Oh, really? Yeah. If you, well, if it's on private property, you have to ask the owner... Yeah. To have your billboard out on your property. How about the domain then? How come we don't see lots of billboards on the domain? <laughs> well, the, the, the domain's a little bit trickier. Yeah? Um, How do you know this? It's a guess. It's a guess. Um, How do you know that you're allowed to put billboards on public property without um, any permissions? 
Well, they probably go through the council yeah. to do that paperwork, and they'll probably say um, nowhere on on the big parks, but on the little parks, sure. Yeah. <laughs> right? So if you take, like, the domain is out, Victoria Park, maybe out, um, the Botanic Gardens of Manukau, they're probably out. There's a botanic gardens of Manukau? Yes, yeah, the Auckland Botanical Garden. Is it beautiful? Um, I gather that. I should go. You should go. Oh, yes. So, um, yeah, well, I guess it's quite obvious where you can put your billboards in the future because you can see them clustered very yeah. tightly. Yes. And, and, and there's some sort of hidden agreement between the parties that don't mess with the other people's hoardings. Yeah, like, don't block them. You yeah, guys yeah. put it right beside yeah. them, but you're not going to block them. Yes. And... Which got me wondering, like, how many car accidents are caused by those billboards? Because they're just so distracting. Because no, it's like, what, 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 car, the, car, 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 colour, 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 smash! No, well, 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 that's the same thing with any sort of um, social action. There's always, it's always prone to accidents. Yeah. E- e- either if it's political advertising or protests. Yeah. Rubber necking. Yeah. What are they, what are they against this side? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it happens more often than you think. Yes. Well, that's why they call it rubber necking. Because, well, yeah. be, well, because no one technically dies. Yeah. Well, the only thing that dies is the car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Which reminds me. Hey, do you often see those graffiti out on bridges? Like, and do you often wonder how they get up there? No, not really. I've seen... Um, I've seen some graffiti right next to the um, Waterview Tunnel, right? As the bridge is five metres up, there's no way you can actually get onto that bridge. It's just like, how did you manage to get graffiti on there? I'm no, long- I'm no longer angry that the graffiti is spoiling the environment. I'm just amazed now. Now, there's a, th- there's a big one. Uh, not trying to figure out where it is. It's not Oraki, it's the one before that. Yeah? Um... Is it Sunny Nook? Pretty sure it is. But you can see the graffiti out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. It's like, how did you get there? Yeah, exactly. And it's and, it, and it's in plain view of the train. Oh, well. Some graffiti can be art, though, so never mind. It's, it's, just, was, yeah. it's just, how did you get there? <laughs> so, yeah, and... Well, if you, if you think about yeah. it, really. Yeah? The wall. Right. Yes, we have a wall. The Trump's wall. Yeah? Yeah. It's just going to be full of graffiti. I think it does get built in the first place. No, but yeah. 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 I've, I've heard there's a pact amongst American builders that if you do end up if you do end up being the person building the Trump's wall, no one will ever hire you ever again. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Go back to election. Go back to election billboards. Oh, yeah. Famous election billboard for graffiti. The are in plain view. You can just grab a marker and some um, spray cans. You can do some really funny things with the faces. Um, the stereotypical one is the Hitler. <laughs> That's the stereotypical one. Yeah, the moustache, right? Yeah. Um, I've had so I've seen some really elaborate ones. For example, um, Batman. Andrew Little was drawn as Batman one time. <laughs> um, what's another one? Um, missing teeth. Santa Claus. Yeah, Santa Claus. Drawing hats, glasses, hipster glasses. Hipster glasses. Yeah. Ears, funny ass ears. That's another famous one. Um, deer stalkers? No. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't seen one with a deer stalker yet. Oh, that might be an idea for you, Sophie. Ooh. Clothing? Alternative clothing? Alternative clothing. Yes. Uh, what else? What other famous um, billboard, I mean, graffiti, election graffiti billboard? <laughs> actually, actually, in saying that, I have a little bit of a story as well. Do tell. Um, Pray tell. Now, New Zealand Golf had a project to increase membership. Yeah, oh, mind you, do you mind if I have some of your protein shake? I feel like oh, I of course you can. Sorry, I'm stealing your food. Okay. Do you have a cup somewhere? Yes, if you look just above the fridge, there is a cup there. I'm not drinking money. There's another cup there. Mike has his pocket money stored in the cup. And what did you do? I just dropped a sorbitant cream. So, <laughs> other famous election No, no, no. What, oh, yeah, what's the story? What's the story? Yeah, uh, yeah as I was saying, New Zealand Golf was doing promotions for 
um, golf courses because yes. um, membership was, was dropping. So what they did is they, they grabbed an iconic person of the golf club. A ballsy move. And they posted them on a billboard yes. saying, come play golf. Yes. Right? And it was my dad that was the per, the spokesperson for the hoarding for the party at golf club. Mm. Right? A week after it happened, yes. there were shotgun shells through the hoarding. Why? Someone used a shotgun and shot at the hoarding. Did someone want to assassinate him? Was it target practice? There was there was debate about that, <laughs> <laughs> which I thought was really funny. But uh, yeah, that's hilariously darkly humorous. Yes, it is darkly humorous. Yes, just like my dad's skin color, it is darkly humorous. Do you think we're ever going to see an, an election billboard with gunshots, like headshots? It's not completely out of the ordinary. No. It won't happen in Auckland. But if you're talking about, you know, rural areas, sure. I don't understand why not. Like hunters just yeah. taking pot shots at election yeah. billboards. Target, target practice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, bang. Oh, this is someone I don't like. Bang. This is someone else I don't like. Bang. This is someone I don't like. Bang. <laughs> yeah, or just like, just like in the 60s, grabbing a baseball bat and going at mailboxes. Yeah. Oh, isn't that... A Stephen King novel. Well, I, well, I saw... Crap. Sorry, I forgot. Probably is, but I remember it from a movie. Yeah, me too. There was a film based on um, a Stephen King novel? Novella? Okay. Yeah. Never mind. I'll remember it one day. Now, famous election hoardings. Yeah? Now, you have to go back to 2004... Oh, by the way, how do you think if Stephen Joyce had, had an election billboard, someone would draw, draw a dick on it? A pink one, yes. A pink dildo, like, to reference that famous incident in which he was throwing a pink dildo. Yes. Back to famous election hoardings. Um, back in 2004, yeah. um, they did the thank you very much for your kind donation. Which party was that? Uh, that was national. Thank you very much for your kind donation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, it, and, it, and it was saying uh, um, how much spending Labour was having at the time. Mm-hmm. Didn't work. Well, it didn't work then, but it was pretty much how Labour well, how Labour is now mm-hmm. um, before Don Brash did that, that spark of genius. Ooh. How did, the, like... how did the protein taste, Sophie? It's very thick. Yes. Why? Just the way I like it. Nice. It's a thick shake. Yes. And it brings all the boys to the yard. You sure you want the boys to the yard, or would you rather have the girls? No, it was the song. I know the song, but would you rather have the girls or the boys? Bros before hoes? Bros before hoes. Yeah. But I thought that was the sexual reference, like brings all the boys to the yard, like brings all my boyfriends and my one night stands. Well, yeah, but you, you but the, you asked me a different question. Yeah. Okay, so you'd rather have your friends come along then. Yeah. Yeah. yeah rather than random hookups. Yeah, like at the time when you had lap dance and you thought it was a waste of money. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah. Thank you. Very, very much. You may edit that out if you wish. No, I'm not. I leave everything in. You sure? Because my my life is an open book. <laughs> but it's just it's just that you have to find it. Yes. <laughs> and you have to ask the right questions. Yes. <laughs> so alternative election bill so what will be the biggest ways that a party can get into the news or the national subconscious? I don't think it'll be through billboards anymore. No? Social media? Banner ads? Yeah, it'll be some sort of advertising ploy. Oh, yeah? So, like, last election was the Eminem one. Oh, yes. Yeah. That failed. Yeah, it was actually pretty funny. Yeah. And yet, we st- like, we, like, the New Zealand public has, hasn't been told who won that case, too. 
I think I think I think I thought that was settled out of court. <gasps> really? I thought I think so, but <gasps> as a law student, I'll be able to find out. Shocker! Absolute shocker! I will be able to access the case, Mike. Would you like me to do that? Yes, please. I yes, I'll be able to access it as a law student. So, but like settled out of court. How am I not surprised? Dun 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> Those things are usually settled out of court. It's just like Kim Jong Il having the lowest round of golf ever. It's like, ha! Huh, not. I, I am <laughs> not surprised by that. <laughs> yeah. A dictator getting the ball in 19 shots on an 18 hole golf course. I am not surprised. Wait, was it 17 shots on a 19 shot golf course or? No. 19 was, shots and 18 no, shots. Yeah, yeah, 19 shots on an 18 hole golf course. Are you implying he didn't get the whole one in one of them? No, no, it's, it's scrutinising the rules. Yes. So basically, all he had to do was hit the ball. Yeah. It's all he had to do. Technically, he could have done it in 18 shots. I was wondering about that. He could have done it in 18. 18 sh- yeah. Because if someone else moves the ball to another location, yeah, it stays there. Oh, wow. So he would have hit the ball, someone would have picked it up, and dropped it in the hole. And it still would count. Really? Yeah. Under the rules of golf. That's how a dictator can have a holes in one every single day. Every single hole. Yes. Holy moly. Yeah. And j- just just to premise this, Kim Jong Il scored 17 holes in one that day. I have scored, in my 15 years of golf, Yeah. I have one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've had one hole in one and that's it. Was that a celebratory day? Oh, yes it was. It, w- it was a non-match yeah. because we were winning hugely by that time. Yeah. And it was just a, I just got a hole in one randomly. Yeah. And oh man, I got drunk that night. <laughs> <laughs> you still remember? I still remember that then night. You, then you weren't that drunk. No, because, because no matter what drunk I am, I always remember most things. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. And Party the, rock into the house. And, 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 and let's just say that we actually were there for an extra three hours more. Yeah. Because a trifecta came in as well. Who's trifecta? Well, it's a, it's a horse reference. It's, oh, a, yeah. it's a betting horse reference. Oh, man. When you have the, the first, second, and third... Yeah. When all of the formation, you get a lot of money. Wow. So we put a bet on a horse. And then bet on another horse, and then bet on another horse. Yeah. And, and the I, trifecta came along. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, man. This is, this is what happens when you were golfing mates with farmers that are worth millions. Wow. That's how it goes. But now you're a poor boy. A poor blind... Uh, no, no, a real blind boy. Who's only who only has one rich friend now? I have, well, yeah. I, I have multiple rich friends. It's just that I just don't see them anymore. Why is that? Because I'm not at home. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, true. That's why. <laughs> I'm just a poor boy. Nobody loves me. Yes. He's just a poor boy from a poor family. I'm sorry. It's okay. Yeah. Especially when we're talking about Queen and we're talking about the election. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Now let's play Election Rainbow. Red. And, and actually, in saying that, how do you feel as a first timer? Excited. Excited. How about you? Your fifth timer. I. It, it's kind of tricky because I did do a paper on democratic participation, right? Yeah. And I have very much considered not voting. Dick. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm making you vote. Well, I'm going to vote anyway. Okay. But it's just like, I had thoughts about non-voting because nothing's really going to change. And I'm just like... Yeah, well, it's people like you that managed to get Donald Trump in, so it's like, no. Well, thank you. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you. Yeah. I, I know you got a little bit angry there. Yeah. It's because you're as blunt as a sphere. Yeah. 
That's my, that's my new quote for you from now on. <laughs> you can mention that to Dan if you want to. <laughs> okay, I shall. Yes. Anyway, let's play Election Rainbow. I say a colour, you say whatever. Okay. By the way, guys, here's another reminder. Please get registered to vote, and please vote, unlike this hapless, help, helpless little marshmallow here. So please. Yeah, don't be the marshmallow. You don't mean? get, don't be the guy that managed to get Trump in. Vote. Okay. So please, mention the colour. Red. Labour. Orange. Orange? Yeah. Slenderman. <laughs> Yellow. Uh, at. Green. Well, technically two there. Yeah. Because there's technically two. Yeah. Um, greens and the Legalised Cannabis Party. I thought we were, I thought we were in cahoots. No, the, 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 they are still a registered party. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, no, as in cahoots, as in... If lab- I mean, Green still wants to legalise cannabis, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I know, but they're always going to be there. Okay. Um, blue. Now, are we, are we talking about dark or light? Light blue. Conservative. Dark blue. National. Purple. Now, that's... White. No, oh, yeah, United. Sorry. My bad. Yeah. Now, because there are the Democrats for social credit. Who are they? The... the it's just a whole bunch of Victoria University students. <laughs> oh, yeah? And uh, you have the Ban 1080 Party. You have the Opportunist Party. Who are they? Opportunity Party? Yeah. Which which colour are they? They're like purple or something? Oh, it's like, it's black, blue, and red. Red. And then you have the People's Party. Yeah. Um, what else was there? Um... Multi party? I'm not sure if Mun is running again. Okay. Um, well, uh, Internet Mana, technically. Internet Mana Party, they're purple. They're purple. Um, how about the multi party? Are they red? I forgot. It's technically, it's it's the Tianga, Tingitanga flat, um, colours, which are. Uh, red, white, and black. Yeah, oh, technically yellow. What's the Bill and Ben party back in 2008? Oh, yeah. Um, they actually came a third in Hamilton East. Wow. For party vote. Yeah. Which I thought was quite funny. <laughs> um, any sort of obscure parties that, that have been in existence? Oh, yes. Pirate party, do we have that? Or is that a... I wish we had a pirate party. Yeah. That'd be hilarious. <clears throat> but um, so basically, all the, all the... All the parties have a diff- all the parties have a different colour apart from orange. Like orange doesn't have a party here in New Zealand. No. As will it ever be an orange party, or do they think the election guy basically took it? I think the orange guy pretty much took it. Yeah. Um, so orange is now the neutral ground yeah. for parties. Yeah. Um, I'm actually surprised there isn't a rainbow party. Pride party. Yeah. I'm. Not, I, I'm actually surprised that there isn't. It should be, yeah. Um, black party? Who's black? New Zealand first. White? White party. Um, I was going to say surrender. <laughs> uh, Maybe the national party can really how white they are. Ha! 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 Um, well, it, it mm. was Alliance back in the day. Yeah. Um, that was a weird party. Yeah. Um, it was basically a whole bunch of Labour MPs having a bit of a scuffle and decided to make their own party. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you remember Jim Anadin. No. No, he's a little bit too old for you. Um, Lila Haru? No. Really? Damn it. She's a political commentator that was part of the alliance and was ranked two in the Internet Mana Party last week. Oh, yeah? Um, yeah. And how, how many seats is there in Parliament, Sophie? How many seats? I can't remember. 200 and something? It's 120 plus or minus. 120 plus or minus, a few. You also have the cantilever seats. Yes. Do you, know that, do you know what that means? I think it's the plus or minus two. Yeah, the overhung. Yeah, the overhung. 
Yeah, so like they're basically like you have all the seats in Parliament, plus you have the plus you have what are uh, plus you also have some plastic stools for the extras. Well, there's well, I think there's a hundred and twenty six seats. Yeah. But there's never been a hundred and twenty six seat Parliament. No. Oh, I thought they have. I thought they only have 120 seats. Plus, they actually have some spare stools for the overhang ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> they, they probably do, but they're probably uh, proper seats. Oh yeah, no, no, it's just. But it's, it'd also be quite hilarious if the extra seats were also baby. Um, high chairs. High chairs. <laughs> I mentioned them to be high chairs for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and and the reason why that there is overhang. Yeah. Is because. Of the large proportional differences between the who who wins the electorate yeah. and the percentage party votes. Yes. Because there's huge differences in regards to that. Maybe we should talk about the MMP next time, just before the elections. Oh, I can talk about MMP till the cows come home. Oh, me too. I absolutely love talking about it because it's so much better than the first past the post. Tell me about it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why my dad voted for that to be the um, way to vote, but hey. Some people just don't understand. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a change. It's a, it's a particular style of thinking. Do you prefer MMP or First Past the Post? I prefer MMP because it increases diversity. I prefer MMP because it actually um, represents the people's will a bit better. Yeah. 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 Same lines. Yeah. Because in first past the post, there will generally only be about three parties. Whereas here in MMP, we have multitudes all stuck together. Yeah. So um, it's, actually, it's actually quite interesting how the MMP basically made sure we haven't had a majority government in ages. Yes. When was the last time we had a majority government? Oh, well, National was close two elections ago. Uh, but it's no cigar. It would have to be... Right before it started, so that would be 92. Ooh. No, 93. You're kidding, like, ever since we had MMP, we haven't had a majority government? No. That's the magic of it. Yeah. It, it actually curtails power from greedy people. Yeah, and, and funny enough, yeah. The last, uh, because the New Zealand First Leader, yeah. I, I saw him, but he's the only politician I've ever seen. Yeah. And he was cruising around in 1996 when MMP first started. Yeah. Right? Right. And it was funny that he was in the main town a few months ago. Yeah. So the last time, like, it's a 22-year gap. Between seeing the same guy. Between seeing the same town. Wow. I, I've i seen John Key twice. One time when he was Prime Minister, the other time when he was, like, retired, retired, so... Yeah. Uh, first time he was basically surrounded by bodyguards. Second time he was just doing shopping with his wife, like bringing the bring in the shopping in with his wife. <gasps> so, Lucky. Yeah. But I have retirement's good for him. I mean, he's he reta- he got some he got some health bag. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have shook in Jim Bolger's head. Yeah. I always had I always had an affinity for national leaders that are not Auckland based. I see. Yeah. Oh, can we sh- can we practice our sh- handshakes now? Oh yes, um, yes. Yeah, so if we talk about handshakes, we have to talk about the type of handshakes because because you've gone into my handshakes now. Yeah. So what I do is that the thumbs, the, the gap between the between the thumb and the first finger, yeah. have to lock. Lock. And then turn around. Stock. Bind the bind the thumb. Yeah. And sh- barrel. Lock, yeah. stock, and barrel. Yes. And I yeah, H- how was it like using that system? I haven't tried it on other people yet, but I shall when I can. But you, you, you know, do you think it's a good system? Well, simple to learn, yes. Yes. It doesn't have that much of a failure rate. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and when it does fail, yeah, it's not your fault. <laughs> now we need to talk about this guy, the orange guy. The orange guy. Does the orange guy have a name? No, but I like to call him Election Man. Election after, Man. Because after Slender Man. Okay. <laughs> because, you know, if you haven't, if you've never lived in New Zealand, 
or you haven't really seen how the New Zealand election works, um, the official mascot for New Zealand elections is basically this orange man that looks like Slenderman but orange yes. and without a suit, and he has like a smile on it. So he's like he's got he's got emoji for a face. Yes. So if you had oh what are they called? Um, if you had a orange purple uh, an orange bodysuit. Yeah. That's pretty much him. Yeah, that's an orange bodysuit. That which is why I think of him as you know a first cousin to Slenderman. Yes. Yeah. Which is quite funny. Because he's so benevolent. Yes. And he talks. Yes, he does talk. Yeah. He's just telling us to uphold the democracy and, you know, do your civic duties. And he's just so nice. Do you, do you think yeah. that seven-year-olds would have nightmares because of him? No. Okay. Um, it's, quite, it's actually quite funny, though, because um, you know how he looks in an orange bodysuit, right? You're getting people now dressing up in orange bodysuits and, out, and outside of election places just waving around, like, Vote here! Sorry. Someone is getting a little bit excited after the protein shake. Yeah, like, Vote here! It's like, and they wave the signs around. Now, if you saw a person like that down, down in um, Epsom... Yes. What is the likelihood of the cops being caught? None. Okay, just making sure. Because if they have, if, because if they have like a big sign on their body saying elections. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no sign saying election. Just a person in orange bodysuit. Well, it depends on whether it's a day of elections or not. Because well, if it's a day of elections, that's basically like the only time where you're where it's socially acceptable to wear an orange bodysuit. But what I'm saying is that if it was a socially unacceptable. Otherwise, without elections. Yes. Outside of the elections context, uh, uh, people start thing, thinking it's a cipher or something rather. Now, be, be, because of me being me, yeah. and being the humorous person that I am, yeah. I always like to m- make it in, in socially awkward places. Yeah. Like, after the election, yes. the, body, the, the, the person in the orange bodysuit goes into a wind's office. Yeah. And asks him for the benefit because he doesn't have a job for the next three and a half years. <laughs> <laughs> so stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, that will be a really good prank. <laughs> it'll be really harmless, though. Yeah, 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 it'll be harmless. But like most pranks, should be harmless. Yeah, no, all pranks should be harmless. Yes. Yeah. Oh man, that will be hilarious. Wait, where is the Epsom Wins office? Is there one? No, there's no such thing as the Epsom Wins office. Oh, that's hilarious. That's for obvious reasons. <laughs> it's like the Ponsonby Wins office. Where is it? No, Parnell Wins office. Oh, Parnell has a Wins office. No, it does not. Oh, okay. Imagine Parnell having a Wins office. <laughs> no. Not in the richest area of whole New Zealand, for goodness sakes. Oh, that's funny. Oh, I might have to do some research. Oh, man. What if Parnell had a Wins office? The Wins office. office. Maybe it's John Key's place. <laughs> <laughs> Except he's retired now, so he can't do anything. Didn't Bill English grow up on the farm? Grow up on the farm? Yeah. Well, that could be the new Wins office. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, in, in the middle of Southland. <laughs> yeah. It'll be bloody cold. Yeah. It'll be bloody cold. Wait, does Bill English still on that farm? Sure, he does. Uh, okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. Being a stereotypical farmer, it'll be in a trust. Yes, it'll be in a trust. It has to be in a trust, though. Yes. Because, um, you know, he's the Prime Minister now, so he has to put all his assets into a trust. But that would have been done way before he went into politics. Yeah. Was he a rich farmer or a poor farmer? I'm assuming it would be a, just a farmer. Just a farmer. Be, because all farmers are rich. <laughs> oh, yes. Until the ca- dairy price crash. <laughs> no, but, but, okay. Maybe we'll talk about this in another podcast. Yeah. Um, I know... The intricacies of farming in general. Because you're a farm boy. Not really a farm boy, but like I was surrounded by farms. Yeah. So I know the systems required. So like to to, to maximize profit, you would do it in a particular way. Oh yes. Anyway, back to Orange Guy. Do you think um Orange Guy this year will be very helpful in getting people to vote again? Or is no. It? No. No. So he's just too old now. No. More irrelevant. Why is that? Why is he irrelevant now? Because not many young... It's all about 
the participation you have to get the participation level of the lowest um, bracket yeah. to vote. So how can we get the lower people to vote? So that our age. Well, it's it, it's it's all about um, the government has to make young people centric policies, and at the moment there is none. Well, the thing is, here's the thing though, right? The reason why there's no young centric policies is because young people don't vote. And the reason why the people, young people don't vote is because there's no young centric policies. Now, you... you, you How? Chicken, egg, egg, yeah, chicken, chicken, egg. There you go, there you go. You answered your own question. Lord, can, can we get celebrities to get the initial rush? Now, you have to be very careful about that. Why? Because they have to be seen as unbiased. Oh, yeah, Lord is rather biased towards the Liberals. Yes. Like us. So you we will be really, Mike, we'll be really, really bad at getting young people to vote because we're, we, we're very clearly Liberals. Yes. I mean, it's not necessarily in the way we condemn the parties, but rather in the way we, our views, we express our views. And, and we, it's generally the yeah. people that don't vote generally are Liberals. Why is that? Why don't we vote? Be- because th- it feels that nothing gets done. Screw it. You have to vote for things to get done, though. I know, but but it, like, it's um it's a it's an illusion of, of sorts, yes. I suppose. So like like you you would have the argument in your head, yeah, that if a party does not. No, if your life does not improve due to the party being in office, yeah, then you would change your vote, right? Right. However, sometimes what you vote doesn't necessarily win. No. And they feel bad that, you know, voting for a party that is centric to you still doesn't get in, so why bother? So that's why the MMP system is still quite good, because even though it might not win the whole election, they still get a seat in the Parliament. Yes, and that's why, yeah. over the last three elections, yes. I have voted minor parties. Yeah. And um, here's another thing. Do you think the whole, after the whole Brexit and Trump, the voting will go up? I don't think so. Well, it has in England. Because once they did the snap elections, uh, voting voting rates went shot right up the roof. Yeah, but to about seventy percent. Yeah, but in saying that our election percentages are around about that already. Yeah, it needs to be around about two thirds. <coughs> if you can't, if you get less than half the population voting, you really are in trouble. The election, the natural election rate should be around about two thirds. And I, I and as uh, and I love the Puerto Rico v- participation rate. What's that? Was twenty seven percent. Oh God, that's a that really is a broken democracy. And they have this. Uh, they have three and a half million. Yeah. And twenty seven percent voted. Oh man. <sighs> and apparently, that vote may still count. No, it shouldn't. It shouldn't. <coughs> because even though. The percentages was ninety one percent to nine. Yeah. It may still count because it's over the two thirds. Okay. Oh, well, it's over the two thirds of winning, which you need, um, for Senate to vote for Puerto Rico to be a state of the U.S. Wow. <laughs> oh man, that's politics, right? Yeah. In that Puerto Rico situation, that's. Hilarious. That is hilarious, and by all means, watch the um, John Oliver um, expose on Puerto Rico. I shall think that as well. Yeah. So, how would you get more people to vote then? Well, you have to make it because you, you can either do it in two ways. One, you can make it compulsory. Which, Australian. <coughs> That means that you are um, imposing fines. Yeah. Which generally doesn't work anyway. No. You, you can impose the same thing as a speed limit. Yeah. How many people break the speed limit? Yeah. Thousands. Yeah. Um, or people just, politicians just have to listen to young people. And are they going to? No, oh. because we don't vote. Yeah. It's a chicken and egg. Yeah. 
Exactly. Oh, number three, have younger have younger MPs. No, they ain't gonna work either. Oh, it's. I will say that people like Ardern and Swatterprick. Yeah. They have advocated for uh, us, the new generation. Yeah. To be involved. Yeah. Um, and that's one of my ambitions. Yes, to become a politician. <coughs> Um, to a less extent, yes. Oh, okay. Um, not really be a politician per se. More like a council. Oh, yeah? So you want to be part of Auckland Council or Paitia Council? Yeah, yeah well, well, any sort of council. How about the council How about the council from Lord of the Rings? Elrond. Yeah. You could have my axe. <laughs> One does not walk. One does not walk. walk to Mordor. <laughs> oh man, the um, the new Thor film was hilarious. You know why? Why is that? It's basically made up of Australians and Kiwis. Pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> with Taika White Waititi or something rather. Well done, well done did, on the mouldiness. Did I say it right? Yes, you did. What? Did you expect me not to? I expect. To me, I expected you to mess it up. How? Um, Tika Waititi? <laughs> Taika Waititi, is it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what most people say, right? Tika. Yeah, Tika. But uh, most people must get it right because you're hearing it as Taika, so. Yeah, it's, it, it, it is Taika. Yeah. But people might say Tika. <laughs> How? There's an A! They can't ignore the A! Silent A. Or Taika? <laughs> Taika. <laughs> so, Mike, what are the many different ways people say your name? I know it's, I know it's supposed oh, to be okay. Canada. Oh, it, yeah, it's... Okay, okay. The correct pronunciation... Is Canada, right? No, you've got to emphasise the first A. Canada! <laughs> <coughs> Canada. Yeah, so it's technically double A. Canara. <laughs> or Canara, as we like to call it. Or, or is, the best one I heard is Canara. <laughs> that was the best one I've heard. Was it Australian? See if I'm Australian? Canara. <laughs> yeah. <Me>. Canara. <laughs> oh, that, 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 that cracked me um. um, it, it up. It especially when it comes to letters in the mail. Yeah. Um, Chimera. <laughs> Kumara. Uh, yeah. Canabia. Yeah, 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 camembert with a, with a K. <laughs> yeah. That could be an advertising ploy. Yeah. That's a way for me to get into the cheese business. Yeah. Canara's camembert. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. camembert. Camembert. Yeah, Canara's canned beer. Okay, so what, uh, what other people, what other <laughs> variations did you get? Yeah, those are the variations. <laughs> okay. Uh, Dad's name... Dad's name's <laughs> Lindsay, right? Yeah. But he keeps on getting it spelt wrong. So the his spelling is L I N D S A Y, but he often gets it spelt with an E. And he often has uh, L E E N D. Oh, really? Lead, like Lindsay. Lindsay? <laughs> um, the only one that I would get mixed up would be this, the I being a Y. Oh, yes. That Lindsay. Yeah, that Lindsay. And then it, it is like, why did he keep on getting the spelling of my name wrong? I just put it in the mail as well. It's like, it's on there. You can see it. People are dumb. I <laughs> know, right? People are dumb. People are dumb. Anyway, my variations. Um, I see, well, it was good for me because uh, Sophie's quite a common name, right? But I keep on getting called Sophia. Yes. I just keep on getting called Sophia for some odd reason. Oh, and it's even better that you're a second year now. Why is that? Sophie the sophomore. <laughs> but I don't, I don't use the American spelling though. I don't use Americanness. I know, but it's just funny. I know, right? So it's like, why do you call me Sophia? It just pains my heart. Why? Oh, I miss. Can I go to talk or block up on my nose? <laughs> By the way, why do I speak posh? 
How? I don't know why. I don't know either. L- l- let's just say that you stayed in Ipsum. You will. You are in Ipsum. Yes, and just speaking posh and posh as well. Like the more time you spend with me, it's just. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. And but well, well, I, I I can still change my accent willy nilly. Yes. Um, depending on the situation. Yes. Because, on a social sociological point of view, you need to make the other person as comfortable as possible. So, mm. me, me and my changing of accents because I see you so often. Yes. That I'm making you more and more comfortable. Thank you. <laughs> but don't worry about it because I'm. Um, the people Dad's working with, they do speak in that Poly- Polynesian Maori accent. It's like, yeah. Oh, cars! Cars! Yeah, they speak exactly like that. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. So, how would you. So. Oh, who would you like to see as the next. Um, next a, another politician, the next aspiring politician? Who would you like to see? Easy? Easy? Oh. He, isn't he running in 2020? Well, well, there's a whole bunch of celebrities going to put their name down, including The Rock, yeah. which I think is funny. Especially when it comes to debates. If The Rock debates, it's just going to be funny. Why is that? Because he'll use the WWE catchphrases <laughs> in the election debate. Why? They're not supposed to do that. It's not a wrestling match. I know, but, but because it's all about trash talk. Yes. So, is it like Sophie? Yes. Is that what you think? <laughs> is, it, is that what you think, Sophie? <laughs> the t- it doesn't matter <laughs> what you think! <laughs> <laughs> he be like the first Polynesian to be, the first Polynesian Prime Minister and the first Polynesian President, and probably the first one with a full arm tattoo. Yeah. Both arms now. Both arms, okay. Both arms now. Have we ever had an American president with uh, tattoos? There probably has been previously. Secret tattoos. Um, yeah. Um, but it, but it's also the first time that a... If it is the rock... Yeah? It'll be probably be the first time that a American national yeah? has become a citizen. It has become president. American national? American national. What does that mean? Well... He he was born not part of the U.S. He was part. He was born in the, what is it called? Um, Samoa. Yeah, which is a. What is it called? Never mind. Um, usually people that don't live inside the continental U.S. Yeah. Are formerly known as American nationals. <coughs> wait, he was born in American Samoa. Yeah, yeah, but it's still not part of the continental U.S. Only people in the continental U.S. are only considered to be American citizens. Here's the thing, though, right? I thought if he wasn't born as an American citizen, he can't run. No, 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 because the rules are that you have to be... Um, oh, it's about playing the words about citizen and national. Yeah. Um, because he's been that part for the last 35 years nice. which therefore qualifies him to to apply to be president how old is he oh he's in his late 40s early 50s okay so Arnold Schwarzenegger became a governor governor yes. yeah do you think he might run no why not he's had enough of yeah I think he was also pretty sick of Trump as well so uh, yeah, and, yeah. And, and also he's he's retired now. He's he's almost seventy now. Wait, I thought I thought he take he taken over the Apprentice. No, well, well it's now cancelled. Oh really? Why is that? Lack um, poor rating. Oh, like did he do a bad job, or did President Trump ruin the ratings, or sort of both? All oh, right, fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> right, should we stop it there? Uh, just one. No, should we have a drag queen as a politician. Can we have a drag queen like from RuPaul's Drag Race as politicians? Well, we have had transgender. They don't count. They're not really drag. We, we, have, we have had transgender. And, and that would have to be the f- 
as far as you're willing to go as in regards to a politician. There'll probably be hidden drag queens, but not official drag queens. Drag, uh, like, 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 why not official drag queens, though? Yeah, the transgender ones don't really count because they're not really dragging. They just are who they are. Whereas drag queens, they put on a mask. Yes. They'll probably be hidden, but not openly. Not openly drag queens, okay. Alright. I hope I haven't offended anyone with their drag queenness. About the drag queens versus the transgender ones, but. Where's Arat when you need her? Well, one, she's bisexual, so. It's very hard for, to grab her context from that. But it's okay. So even she we, doesn't we, know. But we still love her. We st- so even she doesn't know we should put herself in the transgender slash drag debate. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure dra- being a dragster doesn't necessarily make you transgender. Yeah. And being transgender does not necessarily make you a dragster. Yes. I think, I'm pretty sure that's accurate. Okay. So. We'll soon know. I mean, if we say something wrong, Tumblr tends to correct us. Isn't there a rule on the internet, like, if you want to get the fa- if you want to get the right answer the fastest, you just say something that's really wrong and then the internet will just correct you? Yeah. Yeah. I'll just be get corrected. Yeah. Please be, please be gentle in your corrections. Please be gentle. Yeah. And on that note... Um, Dove helps your skin like soap can. How? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this has been the As Yet Soap, soap, soap Rated Podcast. Um, election special? The election. No, well, this is election special part one, which will get you to uh, register. And? You can contact us on the Manus and Sophie9709 and AYU Podcast. Please go to elections.govt.nz to register. And if you are a drag queen, please consider being the next openly drag queen uh, politician. This will be rather interesting. It'll make those debates more colourful. Yay. Have a good week. See you around, guys. Stay safe. And please be weary of the neo-Nazis. I've heard they're rather flammable. Flammable? Yes, they're flammable. Like paper? Or inflammatory as well. Inflammatory?